Hello, and we are back for another retro review where my eight-year-old daughter reviews games that I played back from when I was a child. Yeah. And this time, we chose to do Punch-Out. Last time we played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and she said that game was really easy because the Nintendo only had two buttons. So I decided well, to... Well, this time I figured out the truth. I decided to up the challenge and have her play Punch-Out. Uh, Punch-Out was released by Nintendo in 1987. And Mike Tyson's Punch-Out uh, was released then. And Tyson was paid for three years to use his likeness in the game. So this was mine. And then the next one is my dad's. You'll see who's better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And uh, then in August of 1990, Punch-Out! was released where uh, Nintendo didn't renew Tyson's contract to keep him in the game or something like that. And they re-released re Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! with the game Punch-Out! and replaced Tyson with a fictional character named Mr. Dream who basically had all the same moves and everything that Tyson did. And anyway, we will be off to the review and my daughter will tell what she thought of this game. <laughs> so what did you think of this game? I thought it was hard. Why do you think it was hard? You gotta stick and move. You gotta uh. stick and move, you gotta dodge punch. Well, I'm not very good at dodging and punching. <laughs> Looks like they kept blocking and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm the guy died. So what do you think of the, the graphics on this? I thought it was... Just kind of medium? Just kind of medium? Mm -hmm. Well, it was a Nintendo game. Uh, it had pretty good graphics for back of the time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And it looked good. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you played as uh, the character in this game called Little Mac. Uh... Is he a wrestler? Well, why did they choose Little Mac? Is he a famous wrestler? What is he? Is he <laughs> well, this wrestling? isn't wrestling. This is boxing. Boxing. And no, Little Mac was created for uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Um, I guess back um, this was released in the arcades, and Punch Out in the arcades had a bigger character. And he was like a big stick figure. They called it a wire figure. So you didn't see him on there. But I think it said that it might have been too much for the Nintendo to handle. To have a wire figure like that. And they didn't want to have a big character blocking the view of your the people you're fighting. So they shrunk him down really small. And so that's how he got his name. Being little. Because he was... They had to make him small so you could see the fights and stuff, and they just called him Little Mac. Yeah. So what did you think of the music and stuff in this game? It was okay. It was okay? Yeah. And I see my enemy on there. Oh, that was my enemy. <laughs> yeah, because when you played, how many guys did you beat? None. None! None! Yeah, to be able to show uh, her fighting these different characters and stuff, uh, she would play one, and they would usually beat her, and then I would play, and then that way she could fight some of the other characters on here. Did you have a favorite one? No. You didn't have a favorite boxer that you went against? One of the funniest ones? Oh yeah, there was one funny one. Which one? Hippo King. King Hippo? 
Yeah, he was my favorite as a kid. He was one of the harder harder ones when you first got to him because you had to fight him a special way. Beat him in the tummy. Yep, you had to punch him in the face and then punch him in the stomach a bunch. Because and, and then I saw my dad and it looked like he was losing his pants and the, <laughs> um, the King Hippo, he was like losing his pants. King yep. Hippo. And then near the end of playing, I had to look up on the internet and get some the codes so we can fast forward and fight Tyson. Mm -hmm. How did you think fighting Mike Tyson was? <laughs> Uh, quick. <laughs> quick. He was really quick, and then I tried to play, but I can't beat him either. I, I had seven seconds, and then he just defeated me. And my dad taught me that he, one of his matches, he just got a guy out in seven seconds. Oh, she's talking about back when I was a kid, around the time when this game came out, uh... Tyson had a big match on pay-per-view, and my neighbors had a big boxing party thing, and my dad was over there to watch and came over to the house to get some soda and stuff and walked back over, and the fight was already done. And they later they showed it on TV, on the news, the whole fight, because it only lasted like seven seconds. Anyway, what would you rate Mike Tyson's punch-out? Super hard. You don't like hard games? <laughs> uh, I kind of like hard games. Well, five, five out of ten? Yeah. So it's kind of mediocre? Yeah, it was hard. A million times. Yep. And that's where playing it over and over and figuring out how to fight, that's what we did as kids. And it was kind of funny to go back and figure out how to play again. And I can't believe I still remember and was able to beat things in it. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to, to like and subscribe and also if you want to see any videos in the future of my daughter playing and recording or reviewing any games, let us know in the comments. Thank you and have a good night. Peace out.